5 Most Native American Groups of Jalisco Discover the rich history of indigenous communities in Jalisco, Mexico. Explore the Indian tribes that once called this region home. Jalisco, Mexico is home to a diverse range of indigenous communities, each with their unique history and culture. For centuries, this region has been inhabited by various Indian tribes, who have left an indelible mark on the area's landscape and traditions. These tribes include the Caxcan, Tecuexes, Cocas, and many others, who have lived in Jalisco long before the arrival of the Spanish colonizers. Despite the passage of time, the legacy of these tribes is still alive today, visible in the region's architecture, art, and way of life. From the colorful Huacal people, known for their intricate beadwork and vibrant textiles, to the Chichimeca Janas, famous for their fierce defense of their lands, each tribe has a fascinating story to tell. Exploring the rich cultural heritage of Jalisco's Indian tribes is an experience like no other. It allows us to gain a deeper understanding of the region's past, present, and future, and appreciate the incredible diversity that makes Mexico so unique. So come along on this journey as we discover the fascinating world of the Indian tribes that lived in Jalisco, Mexico. Jalisco, located in central western Mexico, has been home to several indigenous tribes throughout history. These tribes have a rich culture and history, which is still evident in the region today. We will explore some of the Indian tribes that lived in Jalisco, Mexico. Caxcanes Tribe The Caxcan are an ethnic group who are indigenous to western and north-central Mexico, particularly the regions corresponding to modern-day Zacatecas, southern Durango, Jalisco, Colima, Aguascalientes, Nayarit. The Caxcan language is most often documented as an ancient variant of Nahuatl and is a member of the uto aztecan language family. The last generation of natively fluent Caxcan language speakers came to an end in the 1890s. Despite this having long been conflated by anthropologists with an extinction of the Caxcan people themselves, much of Caxcan culture has persisted via oral tradition. There is currently an ongoing revitalization of Caxcan language, scholarship, and culture. The Caxcan were a partly nomadic, partly sedentary people. Under their leader, Tenomazel, the Caxcan were allied with the Zacaticos against the Spaniards during the Mixtan Rebellion in 1540-42. During the rebellion, they were described as the heart and the center of the Indian Rebellion. After the rebellion, they were a constant target of the Zacaticos and Guachaciles due to their ceasefire agreement with the Spaniards. Their principal religious and population centers were at Tol, Tlaltenango, Juchipala, and Teocaltic. Over time, the Caxcans lost their culture due to warfare, disease, and marriage to non-Caxcans. Also, most of the Caxcans were sent into slavery by the Spanish to work in silver mines. During the colonial period, many Spanish, and some Basque settlers, had intermarried, or had relations, with the Caxcans making many Caxcan descendants mestizos. The allied tribes and mestizos settled the Caxcan lands in Zacatecas and Jalisco. The Caxcanes were skilled warriors and fought against the Spanish for many years. They were eventually defeated by the Spanish, but their legacy lives on. The Cocas Tribe The Coca people are part of one of the oldest indigenous groups who live in what is now the state of Jalisco, Mexico. Caxcan, an ethnic group in southernmost Zacatecas, northern Jalisco, and part of Aguascalientes, south to Lake Chapala and to the Rio Grande de Santiago. The Caxcan proper were in the northern part of this territory, the Tecuex in the southern part, and the Coca in west of Lake Chapala. Coca people inhabited parts of central Jalisco, near Guadalajara and Lake Chapala. When Spain invaded, their leader Tzitlali moved them away to a small valley surrounded by high mountains, a place they named Cocolan. Coca people live in an area known today as Cocula, Jalisco. The ancestral group were the Conqueros, who first settled in coves on the Pacific coast of Nayarit, and made houses out of seashells. Their gods were the ocean and the wind. They became known in the passing years as the Shaft Tomb Culture, because of cylindrical tombs spread throughout Nayarit and Jalisco, spreading down the west side of Lake Chapala all the way to Colima. They later centered themselves in Ixtlan del Rio, Nayarit, and created beautiful and elaborate round temple to their wind god, and other municipal buildings. Their obsidian trade was a source of wealth, as it was abundant there. Ixtlan means obsidian. Eventually they were invaded by the Nahua people who were moving south from the land of the Yaquis on what is now the North Mexican border. 
the aggressive Nahuatl invaders imposed a lordship over the inhabitants of Ixtlan del Rio in approximately 1100 to 1200 CE, current era. The Nahuatl lords established an even wider obsidian trade, and tended to view the Coca people as servants, the Nahuatl word, Coca, means servants. In 1310 a group of Coca tribe were led by Big Eyes to a safer place in a valley with steep mountains by the largest lake in Central Highlands. Chief Big Eyes had probably traveled past the west end of Lake Chapala before, or at least heard of it from the generations of shaft tomb culture in that area. From the west end of Lake Chapala, it looks like an inland sea, and always has a wind. This would have been a good omen for these people, who had said when the Nahuatl people had invaded that the wind god had turned his face from them. They were known for their agricultural skills and were experts in growing maize, beans, and squash. The Cocas also had a strong religious tradition and worshipped the sun, moon, and stars. Tecuex Tribe The Tecuex were an indigenous people of Mexico who lived in the eastern part of present-day Guadalajara. The Tecuexes were a tribe that lived in the southern part of Jalisco. They were known for their advanced knowledge of astronomy and mathematics. The Tecuexes built impressive structures, including pyramids and temples. It is believed that the Tecuex derived from the dispersion of Zacatico groups from La Quemada. Like the Zacaticos, the Tecuex were a tribe belonging to the generic Chichimica peoples. It is known that they settled next to rivers, which they used to their advantage to grow beans and corn. They were also expert artisans, carpenters, and musicians. Toribio de Benevente Modalinia wrote, in any place. All know to work a stone, to make a house simple, to twist a cord and a rope, and the other subtle offices that do not require instruments or much art. The Tecuex were known for their fierceness and cruelty towards their enemies. They were known to be so brave, it is said, that once, when the Mexica, Aztecs, came from Chickamostoc, Zacatecas, to take control of Zolit and course onto the lagoon where they found an eagle devouring a serpent, they attacked the settlers of Akatic, Teocaltic, Midic, Teocaltitan, and Zalastotitlan, but in Tepatitlan, when they encountered the Tecuex, having heard of their legendary cruelty, the Mexica avoided facing them. Tecuex Projectile Points from Tepatitlan the Tecuexes wore dresses with classic tilma, tilma, and huapili, comfortable cacti, and adorned their bodies with necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and nose rings that they themselves made. They liked to make their houses in valleys and gorges near rivers, always in a position ready to battle. They also had temples in Teocaltic, San Miguel el Alto, Jalistotitlan, Teocaltitan de Guadalupe, and possibly Tepatitlan. The Tecuexes brought agaves from the wild and cloned and grew them in open-air settings to produce tequila, among other things, called polke back then and stored in jugs. The Tecuex language is now extinct and very little is known. It was likely a uto aztecan language. The study of the toponyms of the Rio Verde region in Los Altos de Jalisco infers the presence of abundant words ending in ic slash tic, which is consistent with a similar phenomenon in the Valles de Tequila region, where very similar locative suffixes are usually related to the presence of groups speaking languages of the Coracal branch of the Uto Aztec family. Huacal Tribe The Huacal are an indigenous people of Mexico in the United States living in the Sierra Madre Occidental Range in the states of Nayarit, Jalisco, Zacatecas, and Durango, as well as in the United States in the states of California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. They are best known to the larger world as the Huacal, although they refer to themselves as Wixaritari, the people, in their native Huacal language. The adjectival form of Wixaritari and name for their own language is Wixarica. The Huacols are one of the few indigenous tribes that still live in Jalisco today. They have a unique culture and way of life, which has been preserved for centuries. The Huacols are known for their intricate beadwork and yarn paintings, which depict their religious beliefs and traditions. The ethnonym Huacol comes from the adaptation of the ethnonym Wixarica into the Nahuatl language, due to the fact that in the Wixarica language, the A can be spoken like O, R and L are allophones, and the pronunciation of X, that was a sibilant, was read as an affricate, TZ. Between the 17th and 18th centuries, time period in which the word could have been borrowed, but the loss of the syllable ka resulted in Hutsal in Nahuatl, and its Hispanicization, Wixericas. The Wixericas speak a language of the Wixerican group that is closely related to the Nahuatl group.
The three main Huacal communities belong to the municipality of Mezquitic, Jalisco, and are called San Sebastián Tepano Huastlan, Huachua in Huacal, Santa Maria Cuexco Matitlan, Tuapuri in Huacal, and San Andrés Cojamiata, Tati Iqui in Huacal. The Wixarica arrived in the Bolanos Canyon region after the arrival of the Tepoanes. There are numerous theories among anthropologists and historians about the timing of the arrival of this ethnic group in the region, but according to Wixarica oral history, when they arrived in the region they currently consider home, the region was already inhabited by another ethnic group. Tepecano oral history also confirms that villages currently inhabited by Wixarica, such as Santa Catarina, were Tepecano villages in the past. Purapeca tribe the Purapeca, endonym Western Highland Purapeca, Purapeca, are a group of indigenous people centered in the northwestern region of Michoacan, Mexico, mainly in the area of the cities of Charon and Pátzcuaro. The Purapeca occupied most of Michoacan, but also some of the lower valleys of both Guanajuato and Jalisco. Cilia, Acambaro, Serrano, and Urarapundaro. Now, the Purapeca live mostly in the highlands of central Michoacan, around lakes Pátzcuaro and Quitzio. The Purapeca are mainly fishers because they mainly lived around the Pátzcuaro lakes. They are also known for their skill in weaving and pottery. Many live in wooden cabins within compounds surrounded by dry stone walls. However, many of these structures are being replaced with homes made out of brick and concrete. One distinctive practice of the Purapeca include the baptism of newborns after 40 days of separate rest for the mother and child. The Purapeca language is spoken by nearly 200,000 people in Michoacan. Since Mexico's 2000 indigenous language law, indigenous languages like Purapeca were granted official status equal with Spanish in the areas in which they are spoken, 